So Lukey and Dukey decided to run some Trump supporters off the road. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live. And make sure you still subscribe to my channel. Let's get into this. Lukey and Dukey. I'm not gonna even I, I'm not gonna waste my time trying to give their real name because it's irrelevant. I find it quite interesting that these two individuals with complete unequivocal Trump derangement syndrome is both black and white. That tells you, that tells me that race ain't don't have you know, crazy don't have a race. You can see somebody crazier than two left shoes. On, there's black and there's white, Hispanic, whatever the case may be. So these two idiots decided that they're going to run off these kids who are on a bike. They're on the sidewalk riding their bike with Trump flags. They're going to drive them off of the road. You know, like that makes me so mad because if this was the other way around and you had some Trump supporters running Obama supporters off the road or, or running Bernie supporters, it will be all over the news. They'll be talking about it right now. It'll be a state of emergency. Congress will be convening to, to uh, create legislation and push a bill forward. It, all of this stuff will be happening if the roles were reversed. That's why, that's why I'm talking about this. Because nobody else is going to talk about it. Some of the other YouTubers like ABL, others, they, they're going to talk about it. But the mainstream media will not talk about this. So back to the story. They run the kids off the road. They literally drive over people's yards. Driving in people's drive yards, messing their yards up, trying to run these kids off, off the road. And then what they do is, and they got it all on, God gets out on one of them, got it on Snapchat like an idiot. I, I, let, me, let me help you guys real quick. For all of you young people that's watching this, or, or, or adults that think that when you do something on Snapchat, it gets deleted. That's a lie. It never gets deleted. Snapchat has rights to all of that stuff you post. Now, the app may show that it's deleted but it never gets deleted. Let me tell you another thing. Nothing that you have on your cell phone is ever deleted. Pictures, all that. So you sending them pictures you know you shouldn't be sending. It is never deleted from your phone. It's just overwritten. And the police department has a software and forensic software that they can extract everything that was overwritten on your phone. Okay, I, I didn't mess some of y'all day up. But doing the stuff on Snapchat, the police department communicated with Snapchat and they were able to extract the video of what happened. And so on video, you have them harassing these Trump supporters. At one point, they took the flag, threw it on the, threw it on the ground and drove over it intentionally. They could have killed these kids. Now think about this for a minute. I want y'all consider this. And this is kind of what makes me mad just a little bit because this happened in Indiana and they were charged with both felonies and misdemeanors now any police officer I, I think this is consistent all around the country especially in the state of arizona you never charge people with misdemeanors and felonies for some of you guys that may not know the difference between misdemeanor and fel felonies are a higher crime misdemeanors are considered a lower crime when you attempt to kill people and stuff like that that is felony range when you do uh, i don't know shoplift from a store that's misdemeanor range you never charge people with both because they can plead to the lesser crime. When somebody in the state of Arizona gets a DUI with a, with a kid that's under 16 in the car, that is a felony. You don't charge them with misdemeanor DUI. You charge them with endangerment. And so therefore, when they plead, I mean, they have nothing to plead to. They have to fight the case for the felony record. So they charge them with felony misdemeanor. They're going to just plead to the misdemeanors. And it's going to be done with. So all this drama that has occurred, literally putting people's lives in danger, destroying property, ass assaulting people, essentially, is going to go under the rug because they charged them felony and misdemeanor together. Now, in, in Indiana, if it's different, somebody correct me in the comment section. But this is a clear case of Trump, derang Trump derangement syndrome. And, 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 and I'm telling y'all, it's going to come out and it's going to end up being medically accepted that there's a such, a such thing called Trump derangement syndrome. Ever since Trump was elected, people are acting out of their character. I mean, they may have been crazy before, but they're way crazy. They're off the chain. Jussie Smollett. I, I know there have been hoaxed in the past, right? People have hoaxed a lot of different things. But I have never seen 
a person actually get beat up and pay somebody to beat them up and then lie and try to act like they were white people. That's not only a hoax. That's a racist. That's a racist and what do you call it? Anti-homophobic hoax. I don't even know the college stuff. I don't even believe in the word homophobia. That's I don't even know what that is. Anyway, now let me clarify that because some of y'all gonna get up, gonna, gonna go crazy over that. What I'm saying is that a lot of what people call homophobia is not homophobia. You can disagree with homosexuality and not be homophobic. Homophobia, arachnophobia, all these other things are, are, are a legitimate fear of something. You don't fear homosexuality. You just don't agree with it. So anyway, let me get back to the subject at hand. The derangement syndrome has caused Jussie Smollett to come out. You got people faking hate crimes left and right. You got people faking racism because it's not prevalent enough for you to actually be experiencing it or exposed to it. So people have to fake it. They have to create it. You have to fake police interactions. You got Congress people. You got mayors lying about being pulled over by police saying that they were racially profiling and that they called them certain names. And then the body worn camera come out and, you, and, and, and they're fraudulent. You have seen this under Trump's administration. You have seen the proliferation of this under Trump's administration through Obama's administration, right? He led it on and then you're seeing it be proliferated. These people are lying. These people are fraudulent because they cannot accept that Trump was elected. They want to run you off the road, beat you up at a cafe, throw water in your face. Y'all seen my last video. Somebody tried to, at least they claim they wanted to to try me but that didn't work out for them and they actually punked out but you can look at that other video um on my channel people are losing their minds they're disowning family members they're, they're firing people on the job they spitting in people's food they're refusing to serve people because of trump because of a president that at most can be president for eight years that's it eight years of your life and if they really cared and they knew they can beat them then they'll just vote them out but they know they can't Cause politicians to do investigations, to lie about whistleblowers, to fabricate Russia, to wiretap candidates. This, this is, it has gone too far. It's gone too far. And it's only going to get worse when he win again in 2020. Trump win again in 2020. Well, they're going to combust. They're going to literally go and have to check in the hospital because they don't, they, they're out of touch reality. They don't know how this is happening. Because the American people don't want socialism. The American people don't want you to raise their taxes. If you can lower taxes in the economy, boom, people love that. Interest rates on homes are low. People love that. That's benefiting the people, not the government. I, I think people need to understand that. But anyway, back to the subject. This Trump derangement syndrome, people are just out of control. I want y'all to write in the comment section. I know it's late in the video to say this. But those soldiers who have made it through eight minutes, because half of the people only watch half of the video. So anyway, uh, if you made it through the eight minutes, I want you to comment your experience being a Trump supporter, how people have come out against you, fought you, uh, uh, tried to fire you, family members disowned you. I, I want to hear from you in the comment section because it's getting out of control, man. These in idiots in Indiana are just one of, a f uh, of, of tons of people who are acting out because they have derangement syndrome because President Trump is the president. Now, anyway, like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications notification anytime I go live. Make sure you still subscribe. Visit the Austin Tatum store where you get all the cool merch. Y'all know what it is. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.